The numbers are fairly dramatic across the country. There were 14.7 million university students nationwide in 2014. In 2023, that number dropped to 13.9 million, down nearly 10 percent. In Ohio, it went from 419,000 students down to 356,000, a 15 percent decrease. The main reason, say higher education experts, the education cliff. Population trends like the number of children the baby boomers had, decreasing and migration trends as people moved out of the Midwest towards the coasts. But at UC, the opposite trend, 44,000 in 2014, up to 51,000, a 13 percent increase. Our freshman class last year grew by 6 percent. But the number of black and Latinx students we're serving in that same population grew by 20 and 25 percent. Our number of first generation students grew by 25 percent. So what we're really doing that others aren't is making sure that education is accessible to students that were not getting served by higher ed before. Ohio's other local public university, Miami, saw a 7 percent drop in enrollment over the past 10 years. Another reason for the drop is pure economics, the price of four-year universities compared to a technical education. Great Oaks Career Campuses has seen a 20 percent increase in enrollment in the past five years. President and CEO Harry Snyder. Parents realizing that they can't afford college and what are the alternatives. The great thing about career technical education is that we have 32 different programs that provide a pathway right to careers and to higher education if they so desire. Flathead X, we use this for a lot for force entry or for like cutting holes in floors or roofs for ventilation. These three firefighting students will graduate from high school with guaranteed high paying jobs. Anywhere from the 60 to $80,000 range. It's pretty good for someone who has not attended a four year university. Yes, it is. Joshua Thompson did not want the debt. And I know a lot, whole lot of people that struggle with it and I just don't want that. And I feel, I feel that there's plenty of things you could do that's not, you don't have to go to college for to get money and do what you love to do. For Brian Winstead, the motivation was altruistic. I want to save lives, you know, make a difference in my community. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.